way. <laughs> Okay, I need to talk to y'all real quick before this video. There was some mad construction going on at the first place I ate, so I just want to apologize for the, ooh, the just, oh, the the sound of almost like fingernails on a chalkboard. It's it's a little rough, so I wanted to apologize and let you know though that's just the first place and it'll be done for very quickly. Other than that, it was a good eating day. I'm going to take you to a noodle joint that's been open for over 60 years, making hand fresh noodles every day. And after that, a really unique restaurant. So unique that they're only doing one thing and that is oysters, but don't let that fool you. The variety you can order oysters at this restaurant is insane. So I hope y'all are looking forward to it. Please again, forgive me for this first spot, but hang in there. I'm telling you it is worth the wait. For y'all that don't know, it's Max here at My Kind of Eats. Let's get this video started. Okay, so we're over in District 4, just above District 7 and just below District 1 on its almost little own little island. I tell you, I love this area because it's really got a nice little greenery to it. And you just really walk down a lot of back alleys and really can get infused into the community and find a lot of delicious food. We're actually starting right now with Ban Chong, a popular, I mean, probably the most popular snack in all of Vietnam. What it is are the rice papers, but then they can use it in various forms. So we're gonna get a couple this morning to get us started and get this food tour today underway. Is that Tim? You already ordered? <laughs> Not really, but it wasn't open, but it said take out. I go, no, I can eat here. It's all good. <sighs> all right, we got three out here right now. I think there's even another one coming. I just pointed everything at the menu, don't even know what anything is. Just gonna dive into it and see how it is. So ban chong is actually just a rice paper sheet. And then what you do is you have different types of ban chong. And so said one of the most popular snack items you can get here in Vietnam. You see at the menu, this place does a ton of different varieties. Let's start with this one that I know here, the ban chong kun. So you see, you got the actual rolls right here and your little dipping sauce. Here you go, brother. And check out, there must be like a legendary sauce. I got so much of it over there. I don't know what's all going in there. It looks like there's a big thing of mayo in there. I'm gonna get that stirred in. Oh yeah, you can smell that mayo when you stir that in. I'm gonna do a little system too. I'm gonna skewer it and then go in. The peanut flavor is a lot more intense than I thought it would be, but I guess I got one that was just loaded with the peanuts. You see the rau ram, you see the quail eggs, you see the tiny little dried shrimp, and you get that little mayo sauce. They're tiny, but they are flavor packed. A little bit of the fried shallot. I don't know if Tim and I, we got 10 each, but I don't know if there's enough for either of us. I could plow through these. The winner for sure though is this sauce. I think I could take about three or four more little glasses of these. Let's change gears though, go for this one right here. Looks like kind of the same, except it's got the different colored little ban chong or that little rice paper. Look at all that mayo on there, that sweet chili, and look at the inside of this. So you see on here they got ba lao ba, which is like a very beef opal stew. And I kind of think that's what this is, the rice paper rolls have a little bit of a beefy flavor to it. I may be completely wrong, but, and to tell you the truth, I'm not usually a big mayo guy, but when they're gonna use coupon mayo, you can go ahead and throw it all on there. Y'all, this is perfect snack food. I really want this more in the afternoon with the beer, the way it's just salty, sweet, crunchy. Now we got the bang chung chin, the chin being fried. Honestly though, my mind's kind of blown because I really think of like rice paper would blow up, but it hasn't. I'll just mix that together, get it all in there. This is the most mayo I've ever seen any version have. That needs that mango on there. You need that refreshingness, that little bit of fruitiness. I'm telling you, if you love snacks and you love coupon mayo, you love crunchy in texture, this one's for you. This is the first one that's had the dried out fish. And what they do is they put it in a nook mom sweet, little spicy sauce and let that just marinate. To me, this is just pure Vietnamese cuisine. It's all aspects of the senses. It smells delicious, it looks delicious, it tastes delicious, it even sounds it from that crunch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Try one, two, pizza. Mm -hmm. Just hits every sensation you want. 
truly addicting snack. I can't just stop going back for more and more and more. Okay, I'm ready for the next spot. This is so loud. All right, y'all, I am so sorry about that last place. It was so loud there. So that was kind of a quick review. We're now over in Bing Dan at a place that's been serving up noodles for over 60 years, making them handmade every day. Apparently these noodles right here are supposed to rival anything you can find in Cholon or the Chinatown here in Saigon. Walking up on it right now. Tim, 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 Tim. They speak Canto, Tim speaks Canto, so this ordering's so much easier. MVP, for sure. I don't know why he put shirt on. I was digging the no shirt vibe, but this dude's attitude is on point. Feeling the good vibes. Look at this, it's got the street side saw propped up. I tell you what, this place is so hole in the wall. My go Viet driver passed by. I mean, you could pass this so easily and not even know it. Ah, well, he whipped those up quick. I mean, they are a team. They are synchronized swimmers because they are synced together on point. And here we got it. We got the wonton noodles. Got those beautiful noodles that they're making fresh every day at the bottom of this. We're gonna give you a little lift up here in a second and show that. The other things we got in here, lettuce, scallions, fried shallots, that ground pork mixture, and then some of the roast pork as well. So what's not only special about this place, is not only the drawers of just freshly made noodles that he has sitting and waiting for you, but you can have them at any time your heart desires. This place is actually 24 seven. That's mind blowing. Mind blowing, putting in the work, putting in the effort. Wow. Okay, y'all, I think we finally got ready to get some chili oil, some black vinegar. Let's kind of dive into these, check it out. Get slurp those noodles before they go mushy. On here they are, those fresh made noodles. Touch heaven. Slurp it up. I tell you what, mine are doughy for sure. I guess I'm talking a little bit too more, so they're probably a little bit mushier than they're supposed to be, but the way you get the texture from the crinkliness, that's honestly not like any wonton noodles I've had in Chinatown here. That's something different, but it ain't all about the noodles. We got the wontons here as well, so let's give that a try. Good wonton, nice slick slide down wrapper. Not as much filling as I want though. The pork, it's almost a little bit hidden because the wrapper's so thick. Gotta have that chili oil and that black vinegar though because that broth is just too sweet for my taste. Quality pork filling. Not enough, not enough. I'm used to Hong Kong wontons, man. I got spoiled living in Hong Kong. I don't know, y'all. He was making that bowl and I got really excited. I think the ingredients in the broth really let me down, but I love the noodles. Almost remind me more of a ramen noodle for Tim. When he's getting wonton noodles. He wants a little bit more springiness to his noodles. I'm okay without it. So, it comes down to personal preference. Here. Super grateful for the opportunity to get here and try these noodles and meet this guy with an awesome attitude. I really don't think it beats anything in Cholon or Chinatown, but if I was here late at night and I need some noodles, this would be the place I would go.
Okay, so so much has happened since y'all last saw me. Got a huge downpour of rain, so it feels amazing outside right now. I mean, it feels perfect, but it's a little bit later because what happened was the place I wanted to go has been closed down. Now that's happened a lot since COVID, unfortunately. Um, so it's probably gonna happen a lot in further videos as well to kind of go out there and see, but it's part of the fun, you know? You just never know when things are not gonna go your way. Since that place is closed, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for a little seafood dinner tonight, get some banh mi, get some beer. It's gonna be perfect to be out here and just feel this perfect weather. I mean, it is, the temperature is perfect right now, y'all. It does not get much better than this. This may be difficult. All right, so we actually came all the way back to District 3, had the ride right along the river right here. It's just absolutely gorgeous. You get that wind coming off, starting it later in the day, cool off. All you need is beer. So the reason I picked here is it's really highly rated. It specializes in oysters. Everything they do is oysters. They got a variety, tons of ways you can get them. You get them with just variety of different toppings or cooked in different ways. What we did is you really got a plethora of different toppings. And then we got one where it almost looks like a bonnet, the way they put it on a cast iron skillet. They're putting some sauce on it. We're gonna egg in there. And I think we passed on the cheese this time. Okay, so I didn't know this, but I just Googled the type we got and it translates to Sichuan fever. So this is gonna be absolutely delicious. With the egg, Sichuan flavor with an egg and oysters. Sometimes you just get lucky in life. Uh, come on. So we got the first round here, we got seven. I think we got 10, 11 total here. And then we got the Sichuan one coming out later. So, you know, it'd be rude to let this go cold. So I think we're about to dig in. This one, man, yeah. I see the scallion oil. Oh my God. Okay, so first one caught my eye. The one with the fried scallions. It's got peanut, it's got sh fried shallots on there, a little bit of fish sauce, with the chili. Oh, perfect. Clean. That oyster just pops in your mouth with juices, it's briny, and then the flavorful, flavorful topping fried scallions, peanuts, and fried shallots. Can't go wrong with something like that. A little fish sauce and chili to round it out. So many. Dang, I ordered a basic one. Since this one looks super basic, I guess I'll take it, get a little bit with that green sauce. I was a little messed up about it, now I'm not. That you just don't need much. Those oysters are just good. Simply delicious. That green sauce is pretty good too. Kick a heap, reminds me a little bit of a salsa butter day. Those green peppercorns are calling my name from across that plate. I would have never thought of that, but they're masters with pairing that flavor with the oysters. They brought us the dish out, they opened it up. They brought the wrong thing. So, looks like they're about to cook our Sichuan one. Oh, look at all that. And just the size of these oysters are so impressive. 16,000 each, it's like 70 cents. And then they're loaded on. This has a ton of satay sauce. The satay's nice, it's a little sweet for me. It really hides the oyster flavor. It's just too much sauce, too strong of a flavor. I really just want stuff that's actually just gonna enhance the oyster flavor here. I'll fill that one in a second. I don't know how we got three left. I had this already. Oh, you did? Yeah. What was it? It's kind of like cheesy, but it's not, it's like a creamy, creamy. But Not cheese. Tim hit it. It's like a passion fruit. It's like a fruit and condensed milk on yeah. top of an oyster. That was not my favorite by far. I like it. <laughs> you like it? It's too sweet. My, my weird wow. Kind of okay, so again, they brought this out. It's not what I ordered, but it's okay. We're going to run with it. We got the oysters, we got the egg, and I got the oh my on it. So we got the cheese as well. Good idea. No. This is so difficult with one hand. No. It's falling apart. No. No. Oh, oh no. 
cheesy, runny egg, maybe a little bit of rice flour to crisp it up, fried scallions. That's just so rich, decadent, and creamy. To me, it's a lot like a bung colt, but without a lot of rice flour, without the crispiness. Instead, it's a lot creamier, a lot runnier. Same concept though, you're wrapping it in greenery, you're putting sauce on it, and just a decadent little morsel of food. Oh, it's so crusty. Oh, Bro stole my crispy one. I was eyeing that crispy one, but he got there first. Ah, he beat me to it. I'm not sure how this meal keeps getting better, but it does. Those are some plump oysters. Moral of the story here is if you don't order right the first time, just keep ordering. Eventually you're gonna get there. Oh Lord. A little bit. It's still, a little soft? Still, still got a little bit of crunch there. It's soft? Yeah. Well, in between. That does not sound crispy. Yeah, it's not crispy. Sauce is good. Tim's right though. This baguette, on a 1 to 10 on the crispiness factor, it's definitely not a crisp A. It's a good sauce. It doesn't give me Sichuan fever for sure, but it's nice. It needs something. All right, Tim, bon me, sauce, baguette. This is Money Bite. Cheers, money. brother. It's been fun. The money is the right. Their oysters are so perfect here. Yeah. Man, perfect. Yeah, I need that. Fumble. Oh, Lord, no. Fumble. No. No. Oh, it's so hot. This baguette definitely not crispy now. Your boy got uh, can butterfingers over here. Hmm. I get the flavors. I understand it. it. Needs to be a little more concentrated in flavor though, a little less watery. And if you're going to call it Sichuan, a few more Sichuan peppercorns. Here's the beautiful thing about making mistakes sometimes. That second dish we ate, we did not order, but that was probably one of the better dishes we had out of this whole meal. So sometimes just go with the flow, y'all. Like that's life. Go with the punches. Oh, y'all, that was absolutely delicious. Just shows that sometimes you gotta roll with everything, but it is getting kinda late, and I still gotta show y'all something sweet. Really, I wanna try to show you something sweet every time, so we got to hurry, I'll meet you there. Okay, and for something sweet, I wanna introduce y'all to Big Bro. And we're over at my house, and I'll tell you what, I love Big Bro. He helps me with my Vietnamese son, which clearly from today you can tell I don't practice much, but he actually has some of the best chè ba ba which I've ever had. It says a lot of other nice little Vietnamese sweets as well, but I'm gonna introduce you to him and show you my go-to place for sweets late at night. Oh, so as you can see, they got a ton of stuff here. They got the rice with the taro, they got the rice with corn, they got the ban chui, which is the banana, and I guess it's like a little sticky rice little form. And they got the sticky rice again, which almost looks like a black eyed pea to me. I'm not actually too sure what it is. Come on. So Chia Baba, what it's actually gonna be, is got a coconut soup here. A ton of things added in here. I see the cassava, I see the taro. I actually see some mushroom in there as well. Oh, and I forgot about the little tapioca little noodles. Just perfect. I eat this at least three, or maybe more nights a week. Good coconut flavor, sweet, but not too sweet. Just a natural sweetness coming from it. And then you get the creamy texture from the taro or the cassava. It's a little bit earthy, melts in your mouth. Love this. Even when you get the mushroom in here, it's perfect. The only problem I have with this, too small of a bowl. I have to get like two or three of them. I crush these so fast. Big bro. Yeah, thank you. brother, as always. The perfect finish to every day. Always love seeing Big Bro. Glad he showed up. He's always got a smile. He's always working hard for sure. Y'all, it's been another day here in Saigon. I got so much more to show y'all. Hope you enjoyed coming along with me today as always. I'm about a couple blocks away from home though. 
I really enjoyed having y'all with me. Thanks so much to Tim for joining us as well. I hope you're ready to see this city. I cannot wait to dive even further. And you're gonna see a lot more Big Bro in the future because we gotta try all those other things as well because they're all absolutely delicious. To Max My Kind of Beats, catch you at the next video.